Welcome to our video abstract. Our article on neuromodulation for cardiovascular disease is published this month. We're very pleased to be included in this journal. Our abstract really discusses neuromodulation and particularly neurostimulation, where we actually take electrical current and stimulate the spinal cord or peripheral nerves. In this chapter, we describe in the article, the use of neuromodulation via neurostimulation to change cardiac function in two ways. We look at the way it changes it for angina. There's evidence in the clinical peer-reviewed literature that spinal cord stimulation can help intractable angina in those who've either had a bypass, had a stent, or isn't a candidate for those types of factors. And that evidence is fairly strong. There's also emerging evidence on heart failure with spinal cord stimulation. We may improve cardiac function, which may be a sympathetic effect. Lastly, in our uh, article, we discussed the effect on peripheral vascular disease. There's articles uh, out in the peer-reviewed literature looking at ischemia. Spinal cord stimulation appears to improve blood flow in those with ischemia. A new type of therapy, dorsal root ganglion stimulation, where we stimulate the dorsal root ganglion, also appears to have effects in rat models on blood flow. And certainly there are suggestions that may be true in humans. Both of those need to be proven in peer-reviewed prospective randomized studies, which hopefully will be starting soon, both in the United States and in Europe and Australia. Lastly, we discuss the effects of uh, really on limb salvage, which has also been shown in the literature to be a possibility. We use spinal cord stimulation to change the sympathetic tone, improve limb salvage. So to summarize, this is an article um, discussing neurostimulation and the changes on the cardiovascular system of angina, heart failure, peripheral vascular disease, and ischemia. I hope you enjoy the read. Certainly this abstract will be uh, available to you online.